guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be about how to spruce up this plain wall with some wall trellises. And if you look here, uh, my wife found these really cool Veradeck uh, welded steel uh, planter boxes that are very nice construction. And we got these uh, trailing vining, what are these called? Don't know. Here's the flower on them. Not sure what they're called. I'll, pi I'll put it in the description down below what they are. Uh, but these basically climb up the wall uh, if you have a trellis. So the trellises we picked out is what the video is going to be about. But there's going to be a nice tall one on this side of the window. A nice tall one over here on this side of the window. It'll balance out this wall pretty good. So let me show you the trellis. All right, so here's the brand. They're Terra Trellis, made in California. Comes with a little nice uh, metal tag that you can keep on there or not. And then uh, here's the information on the finish, oxide finish with a um, powder coated uh, uh, paint job, if you will, uh, to give it that white shiny look. So real, real solid product made in California. So gotta love that. All right, so what I'm using here is a longer 3 16 bit. And I'm actually running, um, these are a quarter inch by two and a quarter Tapcons with a white head on them because I want the white head to blend in uh, over here on the trellis itself. So um, <laughs> I also want to stress using a proper brand Tapcon, don't get the, the cheapo stuff that you can find in the big box stores, get actual Tapcon brand concrete anchors because the teeth that actually bite into the concrete on the cheap stuff, they're not, they don't come out as far and it'll just spin on you. Like every third Tapcon, you'll just get to spin. So. Just a little quick tip, but I'm gonna put in two Tapcons. I'm gonna go one here on this hole over here, and then one over here. And then if you look up top, up here, I have already the two Tapcons set up in the top on the uh, corner points here. So without further ado, I'm gonna get attaching these and then I'll kind of show you this whole thing and how it's made. Okay, okay so my Tapcon is this long right here. So I know that my bit's gotta go in around somewhere here. And if you haven't done a lot of Tapcom work, you can put a piece of tape here on the drill bit. Uh, this is a eight millimeter socket, uh, hex head Tapcon, and then just gently run them in. Okay, so here they are up on the wall. Uh, they look pretty good. This is my fifth take because I keep getting the dimensions wrong. I wanna go over the dimensions right now so I don't forget. They're 69 inches high up and down. They're 23 inches wide. Uh, so they're pretty sizable um, trellis. And we got a pretty big wall here, but it does, it does eat up a good portion of the gray wall, which is nice. Now, I think one thing to note on these that makes them so cool is that the uh, trellis itself, the actual part that the vines grab onto is a steel, it's a coated steel braided cable, um, which it's definitely UV coated with something uh, so it won't corrode over time. There's a better shot of it there. And then it goes into these little, um, these little kind of U-shaped anchors on the side. And you can see the powder coated finish is real nice all the way up on it. And everything is evenly spaced. It just has good geometry. They attach to the wall with these L brackets down here. These are steel, they're welded to the actual frame and they're held on using these uh, two and a quarter inch tap cons, which are a bit overkill, but you never know how heavy the vine's gonna get. So that's the, that's the rundown on these trellis. Um, what we're gonna do now is put the potted plants um, underneath them and I'll give you kind of an overall look of what they look like and then I'll do an update video after about a year and I'll show you how they actually hang on to the vines. Um, would you say um, that getting inducted into the Hall of Hosts was All right, here they are. And Jax is here posing for you <laughs> while I do the last clip of the video. Here they are all finished up. Uh, Chelsea just got done putting all the uh, vines from this one that she just potted today. Um, up on the trellis here. So th those will go crazy, get nice and high. And here is 
Jax, say hello, buddy. Good boy. Okay, you can get down. Good boy. <laughs> and then here's the vines on this one. So yeah, overall, I think they came out pretty good. Um, pretty easy installation. If you have a wood wall, it'll be even easier. You won't have to dig through mason or drill through masonry. I stuck that chair there to hide those transformer boxes for now until I build a little hideaway. But to give you an idea of the quality, very nice. Scratch that one at the bottom. And the concrete, it's inevitable. Touch it up. A little paint. So, yeah, there they are. The fancy trellises and the cool little Vera deck pots. So, if you like this video, or if you have any questions, make sure you pipe them down below. I'll get you in the next one. Remember to subscribe.